viewers, this is Jakarat Icky T with Cookie and Cookie. And today we are continuing this fun project of Spyro Get a Dragon. In the previous episode, we finally finished part two in Frozen Altars, and that was the Bentley's boxing match. Oh, good great. That really gave me a couple of chi rage, but then we finally figured out how to beat the bloody Yeti in high sparks. So now we're going to be talking to our inhabitants before we face the boss. You know which one I might probably do first, right? Right now. Yes. In you Fireworks Factory. Ready for work, Spyro. Hop aboard whenever you want. Oh, you are so adorable, Greta, and thank you for being so helpful in the Fireworks Factory. I will take use my sidekick every day. And now we're going to be talking to, I'm guessing, Eugene oh, in yeah. Frozen Altars. Oh, the the rocket's fueled yep. up and ready to go, Spyro. Wow, why does sometimes when I hear his voice, it just sounds so soothing? He's supposed to be a cool dude. Wow, you are one cool penguin. And then, of course, we have in the Lost Fleet... Crazy Ed! I guess this hunk of junk is supposed to fly. <laughs> so glad I ain't the one getting on. <laughs> you are definitely crazy, Crazy Ed. But your missions were fun. Yep. Not the one in Hunters, that's for sure. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Her Royal Highness, Princess Amy, in mm -hmm. Charmed Ridge. Kepke, are you sure this is not your honey bun? I mean, she's a redhead. She's very attention. And I'm a man of some big witty Spyro. Don't worry. Fairy engineering has never failed. Mm. Of course it is. Your Highness. Yeah, I'm not much of a Highness since she had met. But she's so pretty. How can you not say me fall to the fur? Well, the truth, she tends to be a bad little kingdom. Ah, well, still. And then, of course, we have our favorite Yeti, Bentley. But just special beating up a Yeti. True. Bentley, we're going to be seeing you with the boss, right? We are. Hop aboard, Spyro, and boldly go where no dragon has gone before. Well, at least not in a thousand years, at any rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bentley, I love your enhanced vocabulary. I really do. Yeah, if it's the next one. I know, I know. I'm going to miss you guys. And this is probably our final transportation. Come on, Spyro. So now, the final home world of this game. Midnight Mountain. But we can't get to there yet because we have to face the boss. I wonder what Scully and Bianca are up to this time. Uh-oh, a monster to end all monsters. Okay, she's getting really pissed. That's it. I've had it up. I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters. Really, Scully? And I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. Wait, what? Yes, it will smash them and crush what? them and grind them and tear them. Whoa. Oh, yes, smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crush them. But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> that doesn't matter, as long as I can still collect their wings. Are what? you dead serious, All Scully? All time you only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell, so I can live forever. She's gone mad. Wait a second, a, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> That's not nice you to laugh. Just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. Oh my god! It's terrible! I can't believe I ever listened to you! Wow, Bianca, you said your mouth full! Excellent brat! I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Scully, you better not. Where was I? Ah, yes! Oh. <laughs> he does not want to do it! Please, Scully, no! No! Scully, no! Scully, yes. Wow, she's gone mad. Crazy mad! Yep, she just wanted the wings to actually connect. Well, 
will explain a little later after this. Whoa! This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavour to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Wow, Bentley, oh, that's very poetic of you with your big vocabulary. What is it was my haiku? I know. So, meat scorch. Yes, it's the same name as the level in Spyro 2 Crypto's Rage. It keeps loose. So, oh god! So, Scorch is not really, really of a pushover, trust me. So he looks kind of like, how would you describe him? He's... So what are you showing me? Well, the green one I don't like very much, but I do like the red ones better, because it shoots multiple... Ha! Oh god. Okay. I know, I was trying to say, but... See? It's like shooting, shooting needles. So, Scorch... Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, Bentley, you're, you're lovable. Ha! Huh? So, what I was trying to say was that Scorch actually has these abilities, like he can spam a lot of these little multiple balls at you. But he can also spit out, like, creatures out of his mouth, which he's haven't done that yet. Come on. There it goes. So, well, I was wanting to make sure because maybe he does something a little bit different. So right now he's actually spilling off crabs at us. Oh no, I don't like those creatures. Those are the ones we had in Icy Peak. So when he has the burial up, I can't even hit him. Ha! Oh, shiz! I know. He's not that very big of a push. Where is your chicken? Ha! My God. Oh! See, Bentley is very useful for us. Oh my God. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. That was cool. Come on. Okay, this I have no idea what that is, but it's like chasing me with a derby tongue. Yeah, yeah. Chaser, got it. But there was a part in the battle, but he hasn't did it yet. Is when he spews, um, uh, oh, okay. he actually did spew like a bigger egg, which if he does it, thing. yeah, there it is. He can actually summon bosses at me. But so far, the only one he ever did is Buzz. Buzz is a pushover. Ha! See what I mean, Scorch? Scorch, come on, big boy. Big boy! Oh, boy. Ha, God. Oh, Bentley is so useful for me. Come on! Gonna kill him. Got him. Bye, Scorch. James! He is a Jesse. Like James Bond? Ooh! Oh. That's a nice fun name, Morath James! Wow! That was not that hard of a fight! Nope. The escape. Yeah, but we find out the cheese. Yep. Uh, Hi, Yonka. Yonka. Did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's going to kill all the dragon hatchlings. She has a Wait point there, Hunter. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? Hunter. This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? She has a point there, Hunter. I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. Trust her for once. I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. Wow, Bianca is on our side. Oh, of course she is. She's not evil. She never was. No, nope, but she has disbanded Scully for good. Yeah. Scully's crazy. So now we know.
know her true intent, her true motive. We thought at first that she was going to, we were somehow, to them, they were going to collect the eggs and get the magic back. No, she wanted them just for their wings. Is that a lizard in here, Master Father, or is that a peacock with his cousin Tilly? That's a helmet. That's a level. No, it's a thing going around. Oh, that's a fodder. What is it? That's a lizard. Oh, a lizard. I thought maybe it was a peacock that popped up his tail when he got caught. <laughs> oh, God, that was funny. So, yeah, we're now in the final home world. Wow, I cannot believe I got this far. We're almost so close to the end of the game. I wonder if Scully's here. I think she is. Oh. Hi, Sparks. Oh, gorgeous and blue. I think once we enter in, but I think before we do that, we'll start off this home world a little later, but I think we're going to probably do Sparks World next, like we always do. I guess we can do that. Since you're a nice cupcake and you helped me beat the boxing match for tea. So let's talk with Bianca. Ooh. Spyro, I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. Mm. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? Yeah, we sure do, Bianca. She does without that hood off. Okay, I need to find this so I can get a full sparks. So we're gonna really look around here in a little later time. But in the next part, we're going to actually go back to Evening Lake to do the third home world of Sparks. Well, this case, Sparks World. Hi, Sparks. Yeah, he looks like he's very desperate, like he wants me to do it. So, yeah, see, he's like desperate. Spyro, don't give me that look. So, in the next part, you pretty much now know. So, this is your Chili Chikari, aka Cheek. With Tookie and Tookie, and have a magical day.